Hello and welcome back to Everything Tumblr Tutorials. My name is Rebecca Escott and I'm going to show you how we're going to do a final glitter split tumbler. We're going to use Sweet Mint Glitter from Glitzy Girl Glitter as well as the Oracle 651 Mint Color which is also from Glitzy Girl Glitter. So you can see I've already painted the cup white as well as taped off. I've left about three inches at the bottom which is where we're going to go ahead and place our vinyl. As you can see I went ahead and removed the entire backing because I'm working with a small amount of vinyl on a small section of the tumbler so I wasn't too concerned about not having control. Just when wrapping it around the tumbler, just make sure that you keep all the air pockets and wrinkles out as best as you can. Here I'm just rubbing everything down and making sure everything is nice and solid and I'm going to fold over the bottom ends because we're going to use the Wicked Shimmer tool to cut a bottom rim. So holding nice and firmly, just go ahead and twist the tumbler as many times as you feel like you need to to make sure you have a good solid cut. Carefully remove this bottom trim and watch for mishaps like right here. You would not want to pull this off vigorously as you will take a chance in tearing the vinyl off the tumbler. So snip it off and then go ahead and use the Wicked Shimmer tool again to give it a nice clean cut. Once you're satisfied with your bottom rim, now we're going to move to the top rim where we're going to use the painter's tape as our guide to go ahead and trim the top. Once you're satisfied with that cut, then you can peel off the painter's tape. Now we're going to go ahead and cut the seam on the vinyl. Now I'm just using my measuring tape that I've used for as long as I can remember and I just hold it on there and use it as my guide to use my X-Acto knife to go ahead and cut my seam. Take your time with this and that way you have a nice clean seam. Here you're going to see that I'm actually lifting the vinyl off of the tumbler because there's a little bit of vinyl that you're going to soon see that I'm going to actually peel off of itself on the inside. Be careful when doing this maneuver because you wouldn't want to puncture through both vinyls. When you lay this back, try to make sure that you don't have any air pockets. This is the other side where the vinyl flapped over, so I'm just removing that top layer off. Unfortunately, I did occur some air pockets when doing this 
method. So you'll see here, I'm just gonna take my X-Acto knife and puncture the air pocket and then remove the air. Do you wanna make sure that you go over your tumbler with the vinyl pretty thoroughly? Um, you'll see soon, I'm um, in the next couple of clips or whatever that I didn't and I actually missed a nice size air pocket, but then I did go back and recover that before the epoxy. Now because my tumbler is white and my glitter is a mint green, it's imperative that I paint the tumbler and I'm actually going to do a Rust-Oleum Ocean Mist, but I need to tape off that vinyl first. So if your lines at the top or the bottom where your vinyl meets the tumbler are not even, here's the perfect opportunity where you can allow the painter's tape to line up and make a flawless line around your tumbler. Now, however, if you had painted your cup to match the glitter, you can actually skip this step entirely. Because I wasn't very satisfied with this top rim, I did bring my painter's tape just a hair below um, the vinyl, just so that when I spray painted it and I glittered it, I would make sure that I had a fine line up there at the top. Here, I'm just gonna go ahead and tape another two pieces of tape around the vinyl just to prevent overspray. Now we're ready to spray paint. Now I like to use the spray paint glitter method, so I literally just painted this tumbler and now I'm ready to go ahead and apply my glitter. I was very satisfied with the, this coverage of glitter because I did paint the cup. Had I left it white, I probably would have had to do two or three coats of glitter. If you do not have to do any more coats of glitter at this point, you can immediately remove that tape. So here when you're at the glitter and the painter's tape, just when you go to remove that painter's tape, make sure you pull away from your glitter. And we're gonna do this at the both ends, but you can see the line is very fine. And once this is completely dry, I will go back in with a two times Rust-Oleum clear seal and I will seal this glitter before I epoxy. As you can see right here in the clip, I actually missed an air pocket. So I made sure to get that air pocket before I applied the epoxy. At this point, I'm very satisfied with how my glitter meets my vinyl. So once I allowed this tumbler to dry after the clear seal, probably about 20 to 25 minutes, then I went in with the Glitter Craze Quick Set for the epoxy. You want to make sure you epoxy before your decal. This did not require a thick coat, so I only mixed 10 mLs for this initial coat. So now we're ready for the decal, which is a set of butterflies that I actually purchased from Mr. Nola's, and I'll have the link down below for that with everything else so that you can pick this up. So I've done tattoos before. So here, as you see, I just found placement to where I wanted it and I'm saturating the backing before I attempt to peel it off. Peel your backing back nice and slow so you don't mess anything up with your tattoo. 
I felt this tattoo was absolutely perfect for this tumbler and I did not want to add anything else is sometimes less is really more Now, because life gets in the way, this cup actually sat for about 24 hours before the final coat of epoxy. Once you have applied your final coat of epoxy, make sure you use your torch to pop any bubbles that you may or may not be able to see. I want to thank you all so much for watching my tutorial. I really hope that you enjoyed it. And if you did, please don't forget to hit the like button. Please subscribe to my channel for more tutorials coming soon.